Welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. As we turn our attention to the theater, my next guest is new to the Milwaukee area. He serves as the Associate Artistic Producer for the Milwaukee Rep. It's my pleasure to have Rajendra Ramoon Maharaj here with us today. How are you, Rajendra? I'm well. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here and welcome to Milwaukee. <laughs> Last month, we were just talking uh, with representatives from the rep about how exciting it was to have you come into the area. Uh, you hold an associate degree in criminal justice from St. John's University, a BA in communication arts from St. John's and a master of fine arts in theatrical directing from Brooklyn College. So uh, with your East Coast roots, what is it that attracted you to Milwaukee? Well, first of all, I have to say it is such a beautiful city and there's so much heart here. And I have to say the theater, you know, when I was uh, growing up as an artist, I remember writing a paper in graduate school about Milwaukee Rep. And here I now sit less than a foot away from the artistic director and as part of the artistic staff of the theater. So it is a full circle moment for me. Yeah, and uh, I'm just say. so thrilled, so thrilled to be here. Well, we are thrilled to have you here. And so uh, the Milwaukee Rep is presenting something very special for Black History Month that will be virtual and free to the public. So if you would tell us more about this special program. Thank you. We wanted this year more than any year with all the things that have been happening around the pandemic and the Black Lives Matter movement to really look at how we can use Black History Month as a way to look at the past, the present and the future. And so we came up with We Rise, which is a wink to, of course, Dr. Maya Angelou's prolific poem. And uh, we have four Mondays in Black History Month in February where we're going to be doing programming. And each of them has a special connection to the African-American community, both here locally and nationally. Mm -hmm. I love that. And so We Rise, Milwaukee's celebration of Black History Month, like you said, will be four uh, Facebook Live events every Monday throughout the month of February. So uh, that first Monday is February 1st. Great way to kick off Black History yeah. Month to be young, gifted, and Black, a celebration of Lorraine Hansberry. I'm loving that. Uh, what can we expect from this particular live event? Well, I must say Lorraine Hansberry holds a very special place in my heart and the hearts of so many artists of color. She was the first Black woman to have a Broadway show uh, she was the first Black woman to win the prestigious New York Critics Award, and her play opened the door for so many artists to follow suit. It was a, a groundbreaking play, and Lorraine is considered the mother of modern-day Black theater. And so we wanted to find a way to honor her and all of her contributions. So we have this really robust program, which includes reuniting some of the cast members and the director of the Milwaukee Reps production, The Revival of a Raisin in the Sun. We also have, you know, the diva herself, the legendary uh, Yvonne Stickney, Phyllis Yvonne Stickney, to be part of the program. You might've remembered her from What's Love Got to Do With It, Women of Brewster Place, New Jack City. She played my mama in a production uh, that we did regionally. And we also have Alicia LeKay, who was nominated for the Tony Award and the Grammy for playing Diana Ross on Broadway. Last season in New York, she played uh, Lorraine in my production of Sweet Lorraine. And so she's gonna be lending her voice. And then I'm not a special treat, this is fresh off the presses <laughs> for you, uh, Dasha Kelly Hamilton, uh -huh. who is the Poet Laureate yes. of Wisconsin is creating an original piece to share that night about Black empowerment of women and the power of words. Yes, and Dasha has, of course, been on this show. Uh, Monday, February 8th, keep your eyes on the prize. Yes, we're so excited about that because a lot of people think, well, if I'm not an actor or a singer, how do I fit into the theater? And so this really spotlights the men and women and creative people behind the scenes, people like myself who are directors and administrators and playwrights, designers, talking about their journey and their passions in the American theater. I love it. So, and I keep saying I love it because I do. Uh, I saw Raising the Sun at the Milwaukee Rep, and then I also, of course, saw Fences and 
all of these great productions. And you are also uh, taking a look at some of August Wilson's work. We'll talk about that. But Monday, February 15th, it takes a village with uh, a lot of people that I actually know that have been on this show. Lakita Caldwell, um, Chike Johnson, and his wife, Malkia Stampley, also very talented. Yeah, we're thrilled because, as you know, a lot of the African-American institutions creatively were hit hard with the pandemic and the economic crisis. So we wanted to walk together and provide a platform to celebrate these Black artists and Black theater institutions who have done so much work for so many years to open it up to our audiences and to come together, as we say, and have a river moment and just celebrate the best of Black theater in Milwaukee. Yeah. Yes, sir. And we talked about this whole tribute, I'm guessing, as a tribute to August Wilson and his outstanding work. Of course, everybody's getting a chance to see Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, and there's rave reviews about that with uh, uh, Chadwick Boseman doing his last final uh, performance. And so the ground on which I stand is honoring the life and the legacy of August Wilson. So if you would talk about that. Sure, and that comes from the prolific speech that August delivered so many years ago about everything that's happening in the Black Arts Movement right now. It's gonna be an evening where we have the kids from Milwaukee who are part of the August Wilson monologue competition speaking about their passion for August. We're gathering women who have all performed in August Wilson plays across the country to talk about being a woman of August Wilson. Ebony Joanne, the legendary Ebony Joanne who played Ma Rainey on Broadway and has done films with Whoopi Goldberg and and Chris Rock is going to be our keynote speaker. And then we're closing the night out with an original piece that I wrote, which I'm so happy to share, <laughs> called Rise, the African-American quilt inspired by the words of uh, what August wrote, but reinterpreted for artists and the movement today. Yes, and I knew when you uh, came to Milwaukee that you were bringing all of this uh, energy and excitement with you. So excited to see your work. So uh, this is also very awesome. As we wrap up, if you can, in a nutshell, as an Indo-Afro-Caribbean American, talk about the importance of culture and diversity, especially in the arts. Well, more, more now than ever, as we celebrate the future of America and, and have endured this great second civil rights movement, it is the responsibility for us to make sure that we are always celebrating the best of our country and diversity has always been a part of it. Maya Angelou, I'll leave you with her words that we are more alike than different. And the more we can use the theater and the arts to celebrate that, then the more we move closer towards the American dream. I couldn't have said that better myself. And uh, of course, we can't forget to give people the information on how they can tune in to all these outstanding free events that you are doing live on Facebook. Yes, they can visit us over at our website and uh, there'll be all the information for the month and there's an opportunity for generations of families to come together and celebrate the best of Milwaukee Rep and the future of the theater. Thank you so much and it's been a pleasure talking to you. Mine too, thank you sister. Rajendra Ramoon Maharaj is the associate artistic producer for the Milwaukee Repertory Theater. For more information on anything that we've discussed, again, go to milwaukeerep.com. That is going to do it for today's show. I'm your host, Andrea Williams, as always. Thank you for watching, and I do hope you join us again next week as we take another look at our issues in Milwaukee. Have a great day.